Oh, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Barbie's baby making business. So, as we left off on the last episode, uh, Barbie is now pregnant and Skipper can now just teleport places. That's pretty interesting. <gasps> what have you done? Why are you crying? Look at what's left of that doll's house. That's it. That's all that's left. What did you do? I'll get Barbie to repair it, okay? <laughs> she's crying because the doll's house. Barbie's crying because she's pregnant. <laughs> and I'm not too sure what's really going on with the animations there. So yeah, Barbie's pregnant. Um, there we go. See, your doll's house is fixed. To be honest, as a family gameplay simmer, I am surprised that it took me 16 episodes to get her knocked up. But there we are. We have got a lot uh, to do in this episode. I'm thinking uh, we're going to throw a little baby shower. But before we get there, I feel like Barbie needs to go and um, see her friends. Go and tell the girls your news. So I think let's head over there. Because I'm thinking we should probably... Let's go see the girls. I'm thinking we should probably have like a, a little baby shower today. Um, celebrate. Might even get an ultrasound done. I feel like that would be quite sweet and we also have to do a little bit of nesting and if you remember our house does does only have three bedrooms so Skipper and Stacey are going to have to share a room so I'm going to do a little bit of Tetris moving that all around a bit of logistics get the house ready for the new baby all right let's knock on that door oh I forgot I have whims on I'm just going to switch them off am I the only one who just gets really annoyed by whims <laughs> I like to play without my whims. Hey, girls. Right, Barbie, go and share your news. I'm sure they'll be thrilled and excited. Oh, for some reason, I can't give, I can't tell Midge my news. Does she already know? I feel like she doesn't. Oh, there we go. Share big news with Midge. I've noticed Teresa's not around. I wonder what happened there. Oh, Midge is happy for us too. Uh, no, I'm joking. I know exactly what happened there. Teresa's not here. She's actually moved out. In fact, we're going to go and see Teresa now. We're going to pop over to Teresa's house. I feel like uh, maybe this exercise was a little bit pointless, but it isn't to me because I like the little things. And I feel like, you know, if I was pregnant, first thing I would do is go around a girl's house, tell them all about it. So now we're going to go and see Teresa. Here she is. So Teresa, we got some news. Looks like Teresa has moved out and she now lives with her fiancé, Cole. Hang on a minute. Guys, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Looks like Barbie's not the only one who has some big news. Oh, look, you can even see that rock on her finger there. Oh, dear. Should we tell her we don't know who the father is? Nah, I think some things are probably best left unsaid, you know? Although, I think there is an option to. <laughs> I just noticed this. <laughs> Admit to having woohooed with Teresa's partner. <laughs> oh, that would really throw shit against the fan, wouldn't it? Nah, we'll, we'll save face for now. Oh, but this is quite sweet, though. It means we can have a joint um, baby shower, couldn't we? In fact, I think I'm going to put the wheels in motion to do that right now because we've got a lot to do in this episode. So we're going to plan a little baby shower. We'll have it at Cole and Teresa's house. Of course we will. Oh, hang on. This is interesting. Barbie's got a mood bath that says on different sides from different pregnancy wishes. And she's just got this mood bath. Barbie is so happy about the upcoming birth. Sometimes it really upsets her to spend time near a partner who does not want this child. <gasps> Is she telling me that Cole is the... Is she telling me that Cole is the father? I don't know. Is it bad that I really don't want it to be Cole's? I really want it to be Ken's. I mean, obviously I love the drama, but I just think it would be so much better if it was Ken's. He was so nice about it. Ooh, baby shower. Okay, so Barbie can be the host. And then in terms of guests, obviously we'll just have... Well, we'll have everybody, won't we? Maybe not Amelia, might be a bit awkward. Do you know who I haven't seen for a while? Um, Skipper's boyfriend. I haven't seen him for a while. Maybe I should introduce him back into the storyline at some point. Oh, here we are. Look, I even made a super cute little room here for a baby shower. 
<laughs> I love how everyone's wearing party party attire. Right, so let's go and share our big news with everyone. We should probably tell our sisters. I don't think she's even told them. No, <laughs> she hasn't even told her sisters that she's pregnant. Ah, oh, I really want to also work on the relationship between Barbie and Skipper. They've not really been that close lately. They've just been at each other's throats. They've been arguing a lot. Um, oh, I think little one already knows because I can't go and tell Stacy about um, the baby. Oh, look, she's dressed as Sailor Moon. I mean, I did obviously put that together, but I forgot she would be wearing party attire here. Oh, let's talk to Ken. Barbie, we really need to, we really need to sort this out. You keep making all these promises to Ken, and then as soon as he turns his back, you, you sleep with Cole. I mean, he's not even looking you in the eye right now. He's just sick of your shit. Brighton Day. Thinking about it, actually, I probably shouldn't have gone around telling everyone I'm pregnant, because now I won't be able to share my big news. Who the fuck is this? Oh, I think she's my friend who had all of those kids. Yeah, I'll go share my big news with her, and then we'll share the big news with me. Oh, did you see that? Cole, you dirty dog. He was just in here stroking Mindy's face, flirting with her. You know what, Barbie? I think you had a lucky escape, to be honest. It's just a shame we can't warn our friend Teresa. Why is Stacy not having a good time? What's wrong? <laughs> Look at her face. What's your problem? She does not like Mindy. She's looking stressed. Why? Stressed from being around strangers. Oh, grow up. I don't know if the game is getting a bit confused because she's shared her big news lots of times, but it looks like, looks like she hasn't, but she has. Oh, you need to shut up that face. Sulky, madam. Midge is stuffing her face again. Surprise, surprise. You know what I think would be really sweet? Oh, uh, if we get um, the two pregos to feel each other's tummies. I mean, they're, <laughs> their babies are probably siblings. Who knows? Look, see, they already have their nursery put together, ready for this babe. They're flirting with each other. Something seems to be going on with my game where my sims just constantly flirting <laughs> with each other. Invite to feel the baby. Yeah, oh, is she in her second trimester now? Yeah, so Barbie's grown a little bit. If a picture could say a thousand words, look at that side eye. Oh, isn't this nice, everyone, just getting together and having a catch-up and not wondering who fathered whose child? Become best friends with Teresa. Yeah, I think we should do that. Oh, you backstabbing. <laughs> oh, Barbara, you are a bad girl. I do wish I bought some, like, presents or something, though, so they'd have something to open. The fuck? Why are you being so... Oh, this is why... This is why kids are the worst. <laughs> Ungrateful. I might just get Barbie to become her care dependent, you know. Really take on the, the sister. Oh, she's just crying. Why are you being so sad? Oh, sorry guys, am I interrupting something here? It looks like a, a face-off. Oh, hey Cole, you wanna try and... You wanna try and shag my sister too? Huh? Maybe stick to the legal ones. I know it's not really... Actually, that's not fair. I was about to say, I know that's not really your style, but actually, Cole hasn't done anything illegal. <laughs> He's just been a cheating scumbag. So, you two uh, started planning the wedding yet? Or thought about who you might have as, as a bridesmaid? No, you probably haven't thought about it. Because, uh, notice, we haven't been asked anything yet, so I guess you haven't thought about it yet. I don't think I still have it installed, but I think I might have to go back uh, and download some mods for uh, the wedding so they can have a wedding party, little bridesmaids and all that. I feel that would fit in quite nicely here. Okay, well, I feel like this, is, this was enough fun for one day. Uh, I'm going to end this. I don't think we did too well. <laughs> we got a bronze. It went pretty well. Oh, we've got a reward. Okay, well, let's go home because tomorrow morning we're going to go and get our ultrasound done. And also we need to get Skipper and Stacy into the same room so that we can start nesting. Come on, Prego, let's go. All right, home sweet home. Wondering whether I might just, I might just nest now, you know, get them into one bedroom. But which one? 
kind of feel like this should be the baby's room, Skipper's room. And also, Stacy already has two beds in her room. And another smashed doll's house. This kid is obsessed with smashing doll's houses. Right, let me see what I can do. Okay, so we've just had a very quick makeover of the bedroom. So you can kind of see this is Skipper's area in the back. She's going through her rebellious phase, so she's not really that into colour at the moment. So this is Skipper's part of the bedroom, quite dark. And then on the other side, we've got Stacy's half of the bedroom, bright and colourful. She still has youth, she still has hope. And that's reflected in their bedroom. So I've moved these two together, and I guess now it's just time to uh, get the baby's room ready. Oh, actually, do you know what I just thought? I'm going to hold off on doing the baby's room until we've been to the gynecologist because I don't want to decorate it for a boy or a girl and then find out we're having something else. Not that it matters. Boys can still have pink rooms and girls can still have blue rooms, but I feel like Barbie is quite traditional. You know, she would rather know what she's having before she starts decorating. So let's just um, all go to bed and then we'll go find out what we're having in the morning. Maybe Ken can come with us. I really want to try and get him on board so that if it turns out he's not the dad, he still won't be too scared to stick around and maybe put his hand in his pocket. I don't know. Help out a little bit. Oh shit, Skipper just aged up. Damn, I didn't want that. Okay, we'll make her self-assured. Oh damn, that means Stacy's going to age up soon. Wait, I'm going to change that. I'm going to change that. Or maybe I'll just... I don't know, I'll, I'll let it play it out. <laughs> Just as I've redecorated their bedroom, I think Stacey's going to be a teen soon anyway. What's her grades like? She's a, Well, she's an A student, I suppose it's not that bad. Maybe Skipper can head off to university, maybe we'll have uh, a sequel. Right, let's get Ken over here. Ken Carson will be right over. Fantastic, we're going to take a trip to the gynaecologist and we're going to find out what we're having offer to go to early parenting class. Maybe we will, you know. Maybe we'll go to the gynaecologist and then we'll go to a parenting class. Visit the gynaecologist, oh, moment of truth. And we'll go with Ken. All right, you kids have fun. See you in a bit. Maybe I'll send them on a parenting class after they get back. Oh, she's got back pain from pregnancy. Oh, good. Skipper, maybe you can make yourself useful and clean up now that you're adult. You're an adult, you can handle uh, adult responsibilities. Does she still have her boyfriend, Dale? Maybe I'll invite Dale round, although he is still a teen. He's not a young adult yet, but I reckon he'll be a young adult fairly soon. Oh, hello, darling. Come on in. She doesn't have any romantic interactions with him anymore. She could ask him if he wants uh, children. Oh, Barbie's back from her gynecologist appointment. She'll find her ultrasound examination results inside her inventory. Oh, Dale is really not sure about whether he wants kids. It's probably because he's a teen. <laughs> okay, Barb's moment of truth, moment of truth. In fact, you know what? I might put the scan in the baby's room. Oh, hang on a minute. There's two little heads I can see. We're having twins. Maybe she'll have one of each. Oh, it says here, patient Barbie Roberts. The patient named above is pregnant with twins. It will most likely be two girls. Oh, well, that's what well, I, that's kind of what I wanted anyway. House full of girls. Okay, well, so we'll uh, we'll do up the nursery. I'll probably do that off camera. It'll be a nice surprise for you. And I think probably judging by how quickly things are moving, what she's already in her third trimester. So I reckon the next episode will be having the baby or the babies. Maybe Teresa might even have hers too. Who knows? So I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.